Welcome back to Our Family Bee, I'm Brigitte, and today was Costco day, so I'm gonna show you our huge haul. I really think this was our biggest yet because we had to take multiple trips in from the car, and normally we can do like a couple handfuls and a cart, and it just, it didn't work today. We had to do lots of trips. The prices will be on the left side of the screen. We've got a lot to show you, so let's get into it. haul everyone this is all of the food but down there is all of the non-grocery items so we will go over those last we have a separate line item in our budget for non-grocery items but we like to keep it separate because a lot of times you can get creative with non-grocery items like how to clean your house and all of that kind of stuff so this is all the food and as always we are going to start with meat and dairy and then fruits and vegetables and then more processed stuff at the end so let's get right into it way back here we've got some franks in a blanket we've gotten these before they are amazing in the air fryer if you have an air fryer definitely get these if you don't have an air fryer i would look into getting one because there are so many things you can put in there that you never realized you could so these are really good the kids love them and we got some of these angus choice beef patties these are already pre-cooked so we are going to try these in the air fryer as a quick dinner for us because we're trying to get back to more keto options to be healthier in the new year i mean isn't everyone doing that so we got those and these meat sticks which are basically like kielbasa beef snack sticks they're really good we also put these in the air fryer and they get yummy and crispy and everyone in the house eats them so we got some more of that we've gotten these a couple of hauls before so really good we've got some eggs back here we literally had none in the house i used up the last few that we had yesterday so good timing we had to go to costco we did not have any we usually go through this in a month there's five dozen in here and we love eggs we got some chicken breasts uh, we have some in the freezer, but I've been using more to make shredded chicken in the Instant Pot and the Crock Pot, and it's been really easy for me, which is great because I like to meal prep easy things for my work, and I have been working a lot outside of the house, so got some more chicken breasts. And make sure you check out our Instant Pot videos, which we have one down below, and we're going to be making some more in the next couple of months, so make sure you're subscribed if you are not already so you don't miss that because we post videos every Tuesday and Friday, and a lot of meal preps are coming up too. So we've got some kielbasa here. We've gotten these before, they repackage them. They are really good. They are also great in the air fryer or if you slice them up and put them in a pan and saute them with butter, also very good. We got some pepperoni because we're gonna make some pizzas and we're gonna make some chicken crust pizza which is really good and keto. So these are good snacks and keto snacks and uh, we have some pizza over there which I'll show you in a minute for the kids and we can just top it with pepperoni so got some of that and that's a good price at Costco because these are huge got some more ground beef because uh, I like to pre-cook this and then stick a quart size bag in the freezer already cooked so I can just take it out to frost it overnight throw it into whatever dish I am making whether it be with vegetables or something like that and it's super easy so I got a whole big thing of that we got some more bacon because we were down to one pack which is <gasps> scary so more bacon all of these will go in the freezer except for one that I might put in the fridge to cook but I have one in the fridge to cook right now that I pulled out from the freezer yesterday or the day before so most of these are going to go in the freezer then sticking with the dairy We've got some cream cheese back here. We only have a couple of blocks left. This is a new package, but it should have ah, some blocks in here like the other package. And so we use these for mixing with shredded chicken. Makes it really good and creamy. And I use that for meal preps. Uh, stick it right in the crock pot. Lots of recipes and stuff down below that I'm going to link with that. And then we also got some whole milk. We were totally out. We had to actually go to the store to get milk and normally we don't have to. So we like to get the organic whole milk because we feel like that's the most healthy for you. We were out of 
mozzarella. I think I actually have one quart size bag in the freezer, but um, especially for making pizzas, I wanted to get some more. So a lot of this will be divided up into quart size bags and put in the freezer and we'll just keep one in the fridge and it defrosts fine. It's amazing. It's literally, you guys, you can freeze a lot of things. So if you don't freeze your cheese, definitely get it in bulk and do it because it's much cheaper that way. Some more of this, which Brandon loves. It is really good. I tried it last time and it's a nice little cheese snack, pimento cheese. Good on bread apparently, but we're trying to do some keto bread this month. So that's good. And we got some yogurt. I've been trying to do a lot of green smoothies lately, especially with the kids. We do fruit and spinach and ginger and a lot, a lot of greens and drink it as like a juice. And it's really good. But sometimes I make it creamy with the yogurt and fruit and add, you know, flax or chia, something like that. And they will drink it up. And it's a good way to get healthy stuff into them. Also, I can add carrots and other vegetables and they don't even notice. So got some more Greek yogurt. And for yogurt, we found this which we've never seen at Costco, so I was really excited. I've gotten this brand before. It's called Too Good Yogurt, and they have two grams of sugar, and they are pretty keto because they have only three grams of carbs per container. If you've never tried this yogurt and you're trying to do keto, it's really good. Vegetable-wise, we've got some rice cauliflower stir-fry, which is really good. There's four packs in here. We just take them out of this big bag, throw them all in the freezer, and it's really good to meal prep with this and just throw it on the stove. It's so easy. So we got some of that. Also got some mushrooms because now that I know how to store them, which little tip, you take these out, put them in a paper bag with a paper towel on the bottom, put them in the coldest part of the freeze fridge, and they are so good. They will last a long time. So uh, I got some of this. We love sauteed mushrooms. And vegetable wise, oh my gosh, I didn't finish dairy. Let's go back to dairy. We've got three heavy whipping creams here because we use this in our cold brew. If you've never made our cold brew, I'm gonna link our video up here in the cards and down in the description box, but it's so easy. We make it in bulk, about two gallons a week and we go through that and we have about 12 ounces a day and we just put a splash of this in there no sugar needed it's so good and creamy and it is definitely keto so we needed some more heavy whipping cream we got that we got some of this parmesan cheese and we got this parmesan cheese different kinds this is going to go probably in our pantry as backup this will go in the fridge i think we have some of this already in the fridge so um with dairy we've got some sliced cheese here this is the variety pack and it's good we like all of these varieties for different things sandwiches grilled cheeses snacks and mix it with nuts it's good and we had to get more Kerrygold because we only had one sleeve left and this is the best butter ever you guys uh, I've told many many times you guys that this is good and the ones who have tried it and have messaged me back have said oh my gosh I'm never going back this is the best butter it's so good so if you've never tried the salted Kerrygold definitely give it a go okay back to vegetables we've got some caesar salad uh, we like to divide this up and comes with a dressing and everything so that's really good and we got some cauliflower because i want to put this in the air fryer and try to do some like roasting it'll be easy to do easy to meal prep maybe even make some buffalo cauliflower things for myself because i love buffalo so we got some cauliflower also got some spinach because i'm mostly going to freeze this to put uh, in our smoothies which uh, we have you know frozen fruit and stuff and this huge thing of spinach is great for that it's kind of smushed and stuff like i wouldn't use it for salads necessarily but uh, definitely for smoothies it's amazing we got some apples here and the kids love snacking on apples so um, these were a really good price and they're organic so we got a pack of those we got some strawberries they look really good and I like to have a variety of fresh fruit for the kids and when we run out of fresh fruit we move to canned fruit but obviously that has a lot of sugar and stuff so got some strawberries got some grapes we got green grapes last time Benjamin was requesting some red so I got some red grapes and honestly the the fruit at Costco is and so much better than other stores. I don't feel like it goes bad as fast as when I get it at other stores. So I do not mind getting bulk stuff there because I feel like it does last and it doesn't get moldy or anything like that. Got some blueberries here because we like this in oatmeal and as snacks and just like as a side with lunch when I pack the kids lunch for school. So we got some more blueberries. We got some bananas because we can use these in a variety of things and it's just a good snack. 
Uh, we also got some avocados. We haven't had avocados in a while. And since we're trying to do more keto stuff, I got some of these and uh, they were a good price. So when these get ripe on the counter, I'm gonna throw them in the fridge and then that stalls the ripening. And so they will last a while. Cause I know with avocados, you have like such a small window. It's like not ready, not ready, not ready, ready. Uh, over ready like gross looking so as soon as they're almost ready basically I put them in the fridge and um, have been so much better for me that way because I feel like they last a while fruit wise also we've got some of these pouches the kids have one or two of these at school every day so we have two fruit and vegetable pouches and two of the regular pouches and we're gonna try to not do these at home because they are obviously more expensive than if you just buy a whole big jug of applesauce. So we're gonna move back to having only packaged stuff outside of the house, like at school or when we have like, you know, we're in the car or something like that. Um, Brandon also picked up these egg wraps. These are bigger than the ones that we've gotten before, but they are cauliflower. So they are very keto friendly. It's easy to wrap up uh, meat in there and cheese and bring it for snacks or lunch. So with Brandon at work, those are gonna be an easy option for lunch. As far as dried fruit goes, we've got some dried mangoes, which we've gotten this before. I don't know if they changed the packaging, but the bag is smaller, but it's more densely packed. So I'd have to look at our old Costco hauls, like just from like a month or two ago and see if this was the same amount. But we got some dried mangoes because those are good. And these probiotic apricots. Brielle loves these. So I cut them up and when I'm giving them dried fruit, she will eat those like nobody's business. So we got some more of those. We also got some of this kale pesto with a white cheddar sauce. We've gotten this before in multiple hauls. It is such a great sauce for putting on pasta or vegetables or anything that you're cooking in a pan. The kids will eat this, which is great. And the ingredients are pretty clean. So we got some more of that for the pantry to make sure we're stocked up. I think we have one left and stocking up we got some peppercorns because we were almost out of those and we are moving to doing some more nuts for the kids for snacks especially softer nuts brielle is old enough now that she can eat them and we're trying to do a little bit more healthy options for the kids instead of just all sugar snacks so we got cashews for them and we're gonna make our own trail mix basically so we have cashews we have some peanuts down here we have some pistachios and we have some of these mega omega kind of a trail mix already but we're also going to mix this with other nuts to stretch it because this has some dried fruit in it so we're going to make our own little packs and then we're going to keep all the excess nuts and stuff in the freezer because they will last a lot longer and they won't go rancid uh, with the oils and stuff like that so that is the plan we will update you on how that works out. Also snacks for them, we've got some of these uh, granola bars. These are really good if you've never tried them. Um, and then we got these, which we usually get the Z bars, but the other granola bars. So we're getting these to try. It's chocolate mint and chocolate chip. So I'm sure they will love them. It's sugar filled. And we got this nut bar, sweet and salty peanuts and stuff. Trying to do a little bit more healthy options, but also, you know, we need dried snacks to send with them to school. So we're trying these out. And we got some macaroni and cheese because what kid doesn't love macaroni and cheese? And these are just so easy. They're the little cup and Benjamin is starting to try to help out in the kitchen. So these are easy for him to fill up with water and stick in the microwave. So got some more of that. For the pantry, we got some more mayonnaise. We like the squeeze kind because it's just so easy and it fits better in our fridge. Our fridge is not that large. So the big tub, which we would go through and we have gotten before, uh, it just takes up so much room. So we got this little skinny bottles and it's just so easy to like the squeeze bottle. I think it's more expensive but obviously it just works better for us and for keto we've got some of this pancake and waffle mix i think we have tried this before i mean i know a lot of people love this so we're going to use this to make some waffles and then use it for meal prepping sandwiches with waffles so obviously you can have it for breakfast too brandon doesn't usually eat breakfast because he intermittent fasts and so he would probably use the waffles for lunch with lunch meat and making like a sandwich or something which does sound really good but also it's good the kids could have this although we have the kodiak cakes which we got last time and they love those and i meal prep a big batch of those put the rest in the freezer and you know it's good for them but 
is a good keto option. We got some pizza back here for them. Gonna go in the freezer. We try to do pizza night every Friday night as our new tradition. So this is the pizza that I'm gonna add the pepperonis to and they like pizza and I know they will eat it. And by Friday night, I just want something easy because you know, life is busy and hard. And after a week of work, working full time outside of the house, I just want something easy. So I give them pizza and they love it. So mom points for me. With processed stuff, we've got some bread options, mostly for them, but this, uh, we will keep one of these in the freezer and one uh, out that we'll eat, but it's rosemary parmesan bread. It's really good with butter in the air fryer. Is not keto, but sometimes you just need a little bit of bread. And since we're not gonna make all of our bread keto this month, we got some of this, because it's really good. I got some of the cinnamon swirl. This will probably go one in the freezer, one will stay out. The kids like this in the morning, you know, frozen fruit or with yogurt or something like that. I gave them toast, I put butter on this and they like it. So we kind of alternate between this and oatmeal and sometimes they'll have this with sausage, which we have some in, in the freezer already. Something that's easy because a lot of times I leave to go to work before Brandon even gets up. So Benjamin will be up and I will prep his and then I'll make brioche and it'll just stay on the counter. So. We have stuff that's easy for me to do that with. And then we got some regular bread because I like to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and stick the whole loaf in the freezer, you know, with peanut butter and jelly. And then I have one where we can just make toast or whatever other bread needs that we have. And then we've got some fun finds. So we have these Parmesan crisps, which we've gotten regular Parmesan crisps. I don't know if it was like the same brand, but we've gotten those before, but these are like everything bagel flavored ones. And the ingredients are really, good it's just parmesan cheese sesame seeds poppy seeds garlic and minced onion really keto friendly and a good snack so we got two of those they were on sale and we got the best ever pork rinds they did not have these at costco for months and months and months so when we saw them and they were on sale which is like oh my gosh how can you not we got one two three four and one fell five bags they are the chili and salt oh my gosh you guys if you've never gotten these seriously you need to because they are the best ever even the kids like them they're not really that spicy they just add this little something they're the best ones we found around seriously so we stocked up on those because you know i don't know when they're coming back and they were on sale so it's like why not they last for you know several months so it was worth it totally worth it okay i think i got everything food wise so now we're gonna move over to the non-food item. Before we move to the non-grocery, Benjamin, what are your favorite foods here? You like the apples? Apples I like, and some grapes and banana and... Okay, here... Okay, you sit here. No, but you sit here and tell me about all the stuff we got. We got a board and it could color like all around and it doesn't change color and you can color here and with your hand. Okay, here's the non-grocery items. As you saw, Benjamin has this cool board. It's called a boogie board. It's really cool. You can use these little stylet pencil pen thingies and you write on it and then you just push the button to erase it and it's really cool. Okay, I'm sitting on the floor over here because I'm tired. Right here we have baby wipes because we have a baby and she needs wipes and we got some diapers because she is in size four diapers. She's gonna be two in like a week and a half, you guys. <laughs> no, like a week. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where does the time go, you guys? Okay, we got some more tissues to stock up. I don't know, we go through tissues a lot. Ugh. Do you guys? I don't know. Um, we got some more toilet paper. They didn't have any of the Kirkland brand, which is the kind we love, so we had to get Charmin, which I know is a first world problem, but we also got some Nexium for medication. We got some zinc, because I've been taking that since I had the Rona in August. Doctor was saying to take that. And I got some Super B Complex. Uh, I have some, but I like to use this also in my vitamin regimen. Got some vitamin C gummies. Normally we get the hard kind that is a 500 milligrams, but Brielle is supposed to only have 250 right now because I like of that. yeah, that. because of her age. And these are softer. And Benjamin was saying that his tooth was hurting. I, I like don't know. That. Maybe he's gonna I be like losing some. Like these were on sale, so I stocked up on these. Uh, gummy multivitamins for the kids so brielle gets half of one of these until she turns two in a week and then i'll give her one whole one benjamin gets two of these so um i stocked up because they're not gonna go bad and they were on sale so good 
things right here. That is all the non-grocery items that we got. I will show you the total right here, you guys. That is the haul, everyone. If you like this video and you like grocery hauls in general, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm, and we want the algorithm to like us because we want it to promote our video to other people because we want our community to grow. We are all about supporting each other, encouraging each other, and we need community for that, and we need each other. So if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit the button down below, and to check out more videos we've done, also click below. Until we meet again, don't forget, life is better together. Bye. Bye. Let's go put it away.